Switch On, benvenuti a tutti da Roberto Bonini. Oggi parleremo di un tema veramente d'attualità. Parleremo delle apps, le applicazioni, quelle che noi scarichiamo sul nostro smartphone, sul nostro tablet PC e che ci consentono di fare veramente tantissime cose. Direttamente dalla Silicon Valley, dalla California, ci è venuto a trovare oggi un esponente di questo mondo. Stiamo parlando di Evernote, un'azienda americana molto attiva in questo settore. Qua in studio avremo il nostro ospite Dimitri Stavinsky. Mr. Stavinsky, where is the situation of the market of the apps uh, about the three uh, different platform, iOS, uh, uh, Windows Phone and Android? So the whole uh, mobile app marketplace is very young and it's very dynamic. Uh, three years ago no one talked about apps, no one talked about uh, application stores. It all started with the uh, Apple App Store th less than three years ago. At this point, like for us, uh, which is pretty typical, Um, iOS is still the largest platform, it's uh, iPhone, iPad and uh, iPod Touch. We have different uh, versions for all these three uh, flavors of iOS. Uh, Android is smaller, but uh, it's growing very fast. Uh, Android is our fastest uh, growing uh, platform. And uh, this summer we are expecting uh, Android, um, a crop of new Android-based uh, tablets uh, to come out uh, based on Android uh, Honeycomb version. Windows Phone 7 is uh, uh, new. It's, uh, it's, an, it's a very interesting platform. It will be interesting to see how much traction it gets with the marketplace. Obviously, the partnership with Nokia is... Uh, there are some differences between uh, the US and uh, Europe. In Europe, Nokia is uh, much larger uh, than in the US. Um, its, its share is dropping everywhere, uh, but again, it will be interesting to see what happens with the Microsoft uh, Nokia uh, partnership. Now, when we talk about um, mobile application uh, marketplaces, there are several, several factors. There is just uh, how big the platform is in terms of users, how developed the application store is, and uh, how easy is it to develop for, for a given platform. So, for example, it's um, much easier and much more efficient to develop for iOS and Android than uh, for uh, BlackBerry. And uh, that all, all, all of that results in larger selection of the apps for iOS and for Android. For the application developers, uh, it's getting tougher and tougher. It's just there is so, ma so many apps out there that um, it became hard to get noticed. Right now, You need to market your application outside of the app stores to get uh, market traction. The presentation about the uh, Evernote company. Uh, well, uh, Evernote is uh, a company that is built around a like, very simple idea. That, and the idea is that everyone in the world can use a better memory. Um, the company is based in Mountain View. Um, the, uh, Mountain View is a small town in uh, Silicon Valley, in Bay Area. Uh, we have about 70 people in the three offices, headquarters in Mountain View, we have a small office in Tokyo and a small office uh, in Moscow. And uh, we actually market Evernote uh, in about a dozen uh, countries, um, including <coughs> Europe, most, most large European uh, countries. Uh, we launched the service less than uh, three years ago, we launched it on June 24th, uh, 2008. And um, a couple weeks ago, we crossed 10 million users' uh, threshold, which was like, very nice. Uh, we actually promised that uh, if we hit 10 million users' uh, benchmark before we get three years old, then everyone in the company gets iPad 2, so every guy got uh, iPad 2. So we are based in the US, we launched in, uh, in English in the US, but very quickly we became an um, international company. At this point, um, About one third of our users are in the US and the rest is uh, out all over the world. Japan is our single largest market outside of the US. It's about 30%. Um, European Union is about 14%. China, Korea, um, India, Taiwan account for bulk of the rest. And now we see very good growth in Southeast Asia and Latin America. The function of your apps? 
Um, it's very simple. It's a memory extension. Um, the idea is that we make it easy for you to remember what they, whatever interesting you encounter in your uh, life, whether it's in front of a computer or in the real world. When you're in front of a computer, things that you want to remember are web pages or screenshots or email or you want to type to-do list, things like that. When you are not in front of a computer, you probably have a smartphone with you and um, you can take snapshots of business cards, train schedule, your... We make it easy to remember, but we also make it easy for you to recollect, to find your notes. Uh, you can... Um, well, first of all, everything gets synchronized and available everywhere. You don't need like, to worry, all right. I, I take, took a snapshot of this business card with my phone and I took a copy of this web page on my computer. It's, it's all in your Evernote memory available everywhere. So that's important. That's, by the way, why we went through the effort of building apps for all the platforms, as we discussed. Having access to information is just half the task. Another half is to make it easy to find it. Um, you can search by keyword, you can search uh, by location. Um, notes get like, geotagged. We have unique technology that lets you find text in screenshots. So a lot of people take screenshots uh, with their phones and uh, like business cards or wine label or concert po poster um, and we find text in it and, and not only printed text but, all, but also handwritten text. That's a unique technology no one else on the market has it and it's very handy again you don't need to worry what type of note it is we'll find it. Um, that's basic functionality and uh, everything that we discuss is free. Now, the service actually is uh, freemium. Uh, the basic service is free, but uh, free and advanced users can buy premium subscription and they get extra capacity and extra functionality. Evernote is more than just a service, we are also a platform. Early on, we decided to open Evernote for two third party developers. Our application programming interface API is open. And um, we have uh, uh, over 5,000 third-party developers who like asked for a key for this API. We have over 600 uh, applications like, live in production. It's services, it's applications, it's hardware devices that are integrated with Evernote. And um, it's, it's, a, it's an important part of our strategy. We rely on partners to like, build functionality that right now we don't have uh, resources, resources to build. This summer, we'll be organizing our first ever uh, conference. It will be in San Francisco uh, on August 18. And right now, we are running a developer contest with $100,000 in prizes. Uh, developers submit uh, their apps, and uh, there will be a jury that will uh, grant uh, prizes. So we, we really look forward uh, to the creativity of the developer community.